the original Sakura AI held by Hakuno after a glitch Rutian emotions for him to serve her function properly she sent those memories to the far side of the moon and a backup body which became BB who separated her emotions into five different alter egos. King Protea represents her lust and yearning. King Protea was originally meant to be a character in Fate Extra Triple C. Before being cut in development, she was planned to cause chaos while Hakuno was traveling through the Sakura Labyrinth. Adorning a bandaged body with green mossy spots on her in her outer form and a white lolita dress with long lilac hair as half her face is covered in wraps. Sharing a similar childish design to Kazer Drop who is another alter ego and Sakura AI dressed in a Japanese style outfit with short hair. She lacks a noble phantasm. She can be treated as a noble phantasm, acting as a hazard that can only be overcome in battle through the combined strength of several servants, much like Amaterasu. Huge scale makes it so that there is no limit to how large she can become, increasing the upper limit as the previous upper limit is reached, repeating the process infinitely with the potential to become a planet destroying universal level disaster. The giant transformation makes her lose complex intelligence and functions. Grow up grow. Sheet that modifies experience point bonus which allows the user to gain a bonus percentage of experience points after a battle to always getting experience points. A skill that raises resistance to mental interference while even A rank can make the level of assumption possible. Her EX rank makes the happenings in her mental world. For example, if she says, I don't age, she will truly stop aging. Originally introduced in chapter 1 and 2 of Fate Extra Triple C Fox Tales along with Violet reappearing in chapter 12 and her name King Protea in chapter 14's title King Protea 2. One of Bibi's alter egos that has the ability to grow in size. Infinitely, her body's interior is a seat of imaginary numbers even the second BB can't grasp. Ordered around by the second BB, but will disobey do what she deems as right. Just like how she drove Tamamo and Hakuno into her heart to hear Hakuno out instead of sending them into imaginary number space she acts like a child because her true form is that of a child who sees Hakuno as a symbol of love and affection. Asking for his love, not truly understanding it, Tamamo sees and delusional opting for ending the alter ego. Tamamo suspects that the curse put on King Protea was one that reverts one back into a child and the second baby put this slash seal on her to easily control. Constantly swapping between being an adult and regressing into a child making her mentally unstable. Wishing to feel Hakuno's warmth, but due to her hologram-like body, she will never be able to. Cursed never to feel the touch of the one she loves. That love is something nurture and not something you consume out of hunger and loneliness. She finally understands love and is from the misconception of it that the second baby told her of her own free will. Returning in chapter 47 called King Protea versus 
against Kajura's attack on Hakuno, breaking through Dormina, originally Bibi's noble phantasm that can override with brute force alone. Protea's actions, acting on emotion instead of logic, and her programmed original directive decides to take Protea down with one of the many abilities she's stolen from the Sakura AI. Into a corner, unable to try out the unmastered self modification, King Protea by Kazer Drop using Trash and Crash, an ability stolen that can break down data. Unable to return to its original form ever, as long as they can fit into her palm from her perspective, which is why she gets distance from Protea. In her final moments, King Protea finally understands love, her stomach still empty, but the rumbling has finally stopped.